Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015 where today we're going to take a look at a totally new way that you can interact with your engineering data stored inside of Enterprise PDM using the new Enterprise PDM Web2 client. The Web2 client allows you to access your vault data from virtually anywhere. Here you'll notice I'm just using a, a standard internet browser and we can navigate through our vault and see all the data that's contained inside of it. For example, if I click this top level assembly, I immediately get a preview of what the file looks like. I also have access to the data card information for this file which contains information such as the description, the number, the project name, and the revision. Likewise, I can also see the contains information. So if I'm looking for a specific file, such as this one for instance, I can quickly navigate to it. Vice versa, I can choose where used to see where this file is used and navigate back to that file. You'll also notice you have the ability actually within the Web2 client to both download and check out this file anywhere. Also, you can change the state. So let's go ahead and find one of the components inside of this file that might need a change made to it. We're just going to go ahead and randomly select one of these. Here we have a bracket. We'd like to go through the process and move this from work in process to approved. So let's go ahead and set this for submit for approval. We'll go ahead and say this looks good and go ahead and change the state. Finally, you'll also notice that inside of here you might see this eDrawings icon. Let's go ahead and go back to the where used and navigate to that top level assembly here. Whenever we click the eDrawings icon, SolidWorks will gather all the three dimensional data and it will load it up inside of an eDrawings window right inside of Internet Explorer in this case as well too. And here we can quickly see the files on our screen. But there's a lot more to the new Web2 client than just uh, an internet browser. Here I have my iPad and you'll notice that I have an icon in the upper left for Enterprise PDM. It's just a bookmark to the specific website. So we're going to go ahead and log in. All we need to do is choose our appropriate vault if you have multiple vaults installed. Then specify your username and password and go ahead and check to log in. Here you can see the same folders that we saw before. I'm going to navigate to that gear drive and like before I'm going to go ahead and navigate right to the top level assembly. Right from my mobile device I get at a glance information such as its current state, which workflow it's in, and a thumbnail preview down at the bottom. But one of the really cool features about accessing the data on a mobile device is if you click the hyperlink up at the top where the file name is you'll notice that it will present you with an opportunity to open this if you have eDrawings installed right up in 3D on your mobile device. Here we're going to go ahead and launch this inside it. We have eDrawings Pro. We're going to launch this inside of this. So it'll download the data right to your device and you can immediately start working with that data once it's downloaded. So we can get a good view of what this component looks like. We can also access the all the components in the feature tree on the left. I'm going to toggle on the height show because I kind of want to see how that bracket interfaces. So I'm just going to height a few of these components here really quick. And everything looks good in this case. So with that being said, let's go ahead and return back to our Web2 client. This is a work in process. The last thing that we need to do is submit this for change. I'm going to go ahead and say that there's no approval required for this. We're just going to push it through and we'll go ahead and say this looks great. And we'll go ahead and say change that state. So right from our mobile device, we were able to view uh, review the file and send it through the approval process all at once. So as you can see Enterprise PDM and the new Web2 client definitely make navigating your engineering data from anywhere in the world possible.